matter and energy relationship between matter and energy before starting the lecture click on the subscribe button and get access to our hundred of conceptual lectures for free now what is matter well we all have learned in middle school that anything occupies some space means volume and has some mass is known as a matter for example a cup a desk a car etc this cup has some mass and volume similarly this desk and this car also have well known masses and volumes thus anything around us having some mass and volume is called matter we have also learned that matter exists in three physical states solid liquid and gas for example a cup is a solid water is liquid and air within the balloon is gas here the important question is what is making the matter to learn this question you should ask that what is making the wall well the answer is it is the brick that is making the wall or you can say that the basic unit of this wall or any house is a brick similarly matter is made up of atoms for example this cup is a matter it is made up of millions of atoms hence we say that the basic unit of matter is an atom or it is atom that is making or constructing any matter we know that there is cement that is holding together all the bricks of this wall here is the important question as i told you that this cup or this matter is made up of millions of atoms now what are holding the million atoms of this cup well just like cement that is holding together all the bricks there is chemical bond that is holding together all the atoms of the cup are matter one can say that there exists chemical bond between two atoms let consider two atoms of this cup we know that these two atoms of the cup are joined together by a chemical bond due to this chemical bond there is living or present chemical energy remember that when there is chemical bond there is energy no just imagine there are millions of atoms in this cup thus there will be million chemical bonds and you can just think about the energy present between these chemical bonds hence we can say that this cup is a matter this matter possesses large amount of energy due to chemical bonds therefore we say that when there is matter there is energy let me repeat this important statement when there is matter there is energy now what is energy energy is defined as the ability to do some sort of work is known as a energy for example you need energy to walk you need energy to talk you need energy to grow a car needs petrol which contains chemical energy to run thus we all need energy for doing different jobs or work without energy no work done is possible remember that energy exists in different forms for example if an object is raised about the earth surface at certain height this object possesses gravitational potential energy similarly a fast moving object possesses kinetic energy due to its motion the another question you must learn is that from where we human beings get energy the answer is simple we get energy by eating different types of food for example we get energy by eating vegetables and fruits the fruits and vegetables we eat contain chemical energy let consider you eat a banana we know that banana is matter because it is made up of millions of atoms like carbon hydrogen etc 
Atoms of the banana are joined together by chemical bonds. We learned in the previous slide that when there is chemical bond between any two or more than two atoms, there exist energy capsules or chemical energy. Thus, banana possesses chemical energy. Once you digest the banana, you get chemical energy and then you can convert this chemical energy into other forms of energy like sound energy, kinetic energy, potential energy, etc. At last, let me quickly teach you the relationship between matter and energy. According to Einstein's famous theory of relativity, E is equal to mc square. It states that the amount of energy E possessed by an object is equal to its mass m multiplied by the square of the speed of light c. Remember that c is the speed of light and its value is 3 n to 10 raised to the power 8 meter per second. This theory suggests that energy and mass are interchangeable. In other words, energy can be converted to mass and mass can be converted to energy. For example, one can say that energy and mass are to each other as are coins and paper money. If energy is coin, matter is paper money. But they both are same thing and different context. You may be thinking that how mass can be converted into energy or how energy can be converted into mass. To learn this, watch our upcoming videos. I hope that you have learned the concept of matter and energy. Thank you very much for watching this video.